Another trend is story maps. These have fundamentally changed the way that we communicate geographically. They combine interactive maps with media, photos, videos, and a lot more. And they come in a variety of different configurations. Here's the most popular one right now. This is called the Story Map Tour. And this traces Lewis and Clark's journey and the new species that they were able to identify along the way. At any one of these stops, I can take a look at the media a little more closely and also pull up additional information. And as I mentioned, this is a very popular one today. But here's another one. This is fairly new, and we expect this to be even more popular. This is called the Story Map Journal. And it's almost like a blog. I can interact with maps. I can add some text and photos. And I can even toggle other maps directly from the text itself. So it's a great way to tell a story. And this is a wonderful one called the Tapestry of World Ecosystems. And here's another one. This is not yet released. It's a prototype, but will be released soon. But this is one of my favorite ones. And it features Sam Drogi's wonderful, amazing imagery of bees. He's a USGS biologist. And right now, the focus is on the imagery, the photos. And the map is a small little map in a circle. But I can switch that around. And I can also explore these geographically by clicking on them and also looking at the photos in a larger context. So these are amazing ways to communicate and tell stories.